Good Thursday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Conversation Daddy News. Glad you all could be with us. Well, we made it over the hump, and we're in the home stretch for the weekend. Of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Thursday. Have a message from my book, Where That Choose to Live By, and then today's entertainment spotlight. You got to perform my conversation with author Leanne Kell Sparks discussing her new book, Every Missing Girl. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Thursday headlines in national news. Massive winter storm brings snow, strong winds, and frigid cold. A brutal winter storm knocked out power in California, closed interstate highways from Arizona to Wyoming, and prompted more than 1,200 flight cancellations on Wednesday, and the worst won't be over for several days, says the Associated Press. Few people were untouched by the wild weather, some at the opposite extreme. Record highs were forecast from the mid-Atlantic states down through Florida, with some places expected to reach up to 40 degrees above normal. The wintry mix was hit hardest in the northern tier of the country. Schools throughout the Dakotas, Minnesota, and Wisconsin were called off Wednesday. Offices closed, as did the Minnesota legislature. South Dakota governor shut down state executive branch offices in several parts of the state, and employees worked remotely. Travel was also difficult on Wednesday. Weather contributed to more than 1,200 canceled flights across the country by mid-morning, according to Tracking Service FlightAware. About one-third of those canceled flights, roughly 400, were due to arrive or depart from the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport. In Wyoming, virtually every road was affected. Powerful winds were the biggest problem in California, toppling trees and power lines. By Wednesday morning, more than 109,000 customers were without power. A blizzard warning was issued for the mountains of Los Angeles, Ventura, and Santa Barbara counties, affected most of the day today. In more national news, CNN's Don Lemon tweets another apology and returns to work. CNN anchor Don Lemon tweeted an apology to viewers for his remarks about Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley shortly before returning to work on Wednesday, then stuck to the news. He made no mention of his comments last week that Haley was not in her prime, during CNN this morning, instead reporting on stories like President Joe Biden's trip to Ukraine, the Ohio train derailment, and winter weather. Lemon, within the hour before he went on the air, tweeted that he appreciated the opportunity to return to work. He was absent for three days. To my network, my colleagues, and my incredible audience, I'm sorry, he said. I've heard you, I'm learning from you, and I'm committed to doing better. His tweet made no mention of Haley, who called Lemon's comments sexist and has been referring to them in fundraising appeals. In more national news, Supreme Court rules for Arizona inmate and death penalty case. The Supreme Court ruled Wednesday for a man on Arizona's death row who wants a new sentencing hearing because jurors in his case were wrongly told that the only way to ensure he would never walk free was to sentence him to death. The 5-4 decision, written by Justice Sonia Sotomayor, likely means that John Cruz will get a new penalty phase of his trial where it was made clear to jurors that he is ineligible for parole if he is sentenced to life in prison instead of death. I am so gratified by the court's decision today. What Arizona has been doing in implementing the death penalty is patently unconstitutional and wrong, and I'm glad to see the court call them out, Cruz's lawyer said in a statement. The case is important not only for Cruz, but also for other Arizona death row inmates. Arizona currently has approximately 100 people on its death row, and the decision could affect about 30 of them with pending cases. In international news, Biden says Putin's suspension of U.S. arms treaty a big mistake. President Joe Biden said Wednesday that Russian President Putin made a big mistake by suspending his country's participation in the last remaining U.S.-Russia nuclear arms control treaty. The U.S. president was in Poland to reassure eastern flank NATO allies that the U.S. will remain by their sides amid the grinding Russian invasion of Ukraine. In his first comments since Putin's announcement Tuesday, Biden condemned the Russian decision to pull back from the treaty known as New Start. The move is expected to have an immediate impact on U.S. visibility into Russian nuclear activities, but the pact was already on life support following Moscow's cancellation late last year of talks that had been intended to salvage an agreement that both sides have accused the other of violating. It's a big mistake, said Biden. And finally, in business news, U.S. stocks edge higher at the worst route in months. Stocks edge higher on Wall Street Wednesday, a day after falling to their worst loss since last December, on worries about higher interest rates. 
the S&P 500 rose 0.3%. After drifting earlier between small gains and losses, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 77 points, or 0.2%, at 33,210, while the Nasdaq Composite was up 0.4%. After leaping at the start of the year, stocks hit a wall in February on worries that inflation may not be cooling as quickly or as smoothly as hoped. That has Wall Street upping its forecast for how high the Fed Reserve will take interest rates as well as for how long it will keep them at that level. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. Yes, on time for a message from my book, Words That Choose to Live By. Enjoy. Good Thursday, everyone. I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to Words That Choose to Live By. Knowing who you are and what you are worth is essential to knowing what you deserve. Don't ever allow anyone to degrade or demean you or tell you that you are any less deserving than anyone else. The work of art can be no less more than the one who created it, and you are created by the very best. Accept nothing less for yourself, and give nothing less to others in return. We are all one. Have an amazing Thursday. We are part of my conversation coming up with author Leanne Kale Sparks in today's entertainment spotlight. Stay with us for listening to Conversation Daddy News. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the entertainment spotlight. Author Leanne Kale Sparks joined me on Conversations Live, the radio show this week, to talk about her brand new book, Every Missing Girl, is a bit of our conversation. Leanne, glad to speak with you. Thanks again for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm always happy to come on and talk to you. Well, One thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you. Hey, that, that's a real compliment. And Leanne, we're celebrating 20 years this year. So I'm, I, I'm very thrilled to hear <laughs> to hear that uh, for sure. <laughs> Leanne, I have to say, I, I love talking to you too. But And your books are, I mean, definitely draw you in. But I think what is so amazing, and I guess it's a testament to your gift, is that they always seem so real. And every missing girl is definitely like that. So what has it been like for you to already see the way that people are really being engrossed in this book? It's been amazing. Um, I think when I introduced Kendall to the world uh, last year with The Wrong Woman, I was a little nervous about how it, how she was going to be received because she can be a bit brash and, and sarcastic. Um, I think that that's you know, really says a lot about her. Um, it, gave, she, it was a good introduction to her, but writing her this time was um, was a really amazing journey because it, it's not so much the introduction of every character, which, you know, you have in a first book, but the second book, you can kind of delve a little bit deeper. And um, Kendall is just a lot of fun to write. Um, she's you know, like I said, she can be brash, she can be sarcastic, She, can, but she also has a heart of gold, which is a little bit hard to, to get to sometimes, but, um, and she really cares about what she's doing. So it, it's been, it's been a really a great journey to, to be on with her. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning into this edition of Conversations Daily News. We're about to go on tomorrow to wrap up this week. Until then, I'm our host Cyrus Webb saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daddy News today. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.